<laughs> 14 months we've been working through a global pandemic. Three times they'll come up with a derogatory pay offer that only suits the government, it doesn't suit these low paid workers that have been inspirational over the last 14 months. They deserve more. The conditions are shocking, the facilities are shocking, and the paying grading stocks are shocking. The basic salary for a road sweeper is around £17,000, £18,000. I'm an LGV driver, and my basic salary is around about nineteen. with add-on increments. The grading system in Glasgow is absolutely brutal. It was designed to keep low-paid workers at very low pay. The welfare facilities aren't the best. There's a lot of outdated depots. This depot that you're at today, it's subcast porter cabins that they're using, have done for the last five or six years. If it was a proper building, a modernised building, you would come to work more with a smile on your face if you had better conditions. Industrial relations have been completely broken down over the last four days. Friday there was a new offer put on the table. We asked the council if we could uh, have a mass meeting to put our proposals back to your members over the weekend, one mass meeting, and they declined. They wanted it in their terms over a three day period. Wasn't good enough. And then they threatened to take us to court on Friday, which failed. So we've had enough, and I'm proud of the workers standing and right through this city, standing shoulder to shoulder in solidarity. To use anti trade union legislation against workers is absolutely abhorrent and this is why we're here standing in solidarity. Living Rent's been organising with the GMB around a particular campaign to do with cleansing and we're really invested in building on that cross-union solidarity. The cleansing services in Glasgow have been systematically cut over a period of years. There's a real narrative coming out of Glasgow City Council at the moment that the cleansing issues are to do with the people of the city and the workers of the city and we're here to show that we stand in solidarity as a united front against that. Down here in solidarity with GMB strikers because that's what you do whenever people are on strike. Basic working class solidarity. Across local government there was selective strike action being planned up until last week whenever a revised offer came through. Unison are consulting on that with the membership. There's an equal pay dispute linked to the 2018 equal pay strike. Glasgow City Council was taking money from all their workforce for years so that settlement cost the council over half a billion pounds. That then prompted uh, a new job evaluation process but that hasn't been completed. We're, we're all still the same workers doing the same jobs for the same money under the same job evaluation scheme. In my branch alone there's 78,000 people that are affected by this. Unfortunately we've lost some members of staff through COVID-19. We've had the worry of taking something back to the house also to our families. For the very start of lockdown, it took us literally four months to put health and safety policies in place. Through the trade union, we had socially distanced in minibuses and that. We had that going before most other local authorities in Scotland. In hospitality, obviously, um, during the pandemic, um, so many like redundancies. My company tried to make 95% of the workforce redundant. We collectivised in our workplaces to prevent the redundancies and managed to hold them off for a good few months and get people more far local. But now it's building bigger campaigns, including things like pay transport home um, after midnight, a real living wage and um, like 100% tips policy which we've had a massive win on recently as well. <laughs> We really need to change the whole structure of cleansing in Glasgow um, and it's got to start from people up there, the, the, the top of the tree. It's also a climate issue as well. We're all for a cleaner, greener, sustainable future for everybody. But steady investing in recycling, they have totally cut the service. How's that good for the environment? We've got a fantastic recycling plant in Block Elm that needs a million pound investment to, to, to achieve what it should be doing. They're never going to meet their 2030 target in Glasgow if they don't invest, have education, and make it a fairer place to work and treat these workers with respect and start employing people instead of making horrendous cuts in the service. We now need a, a just transformation of every sector of society at the same time and particularly when you think about the jobs and the potential uh, for public sector job creation that exists within public transport and particularly that exists within mass retrofitting programmes. You've got the eyes of the world on Glasgow at the moment also and there's a vast amount of money being spent for this. I dare say the UK government's threw a lot of money into it also. We've got 30,000 delegates from all over, staying in hotels etc. All we are asking for is a small percentage of that money 
hotels are charging £2,000 a night for a basic room in Glasgow just now, but our hotel workers, they're getting paid like 80 pence a room. COP has brought a lot of money to Glasgow, but it's not the workers that are going to see it. If you look at that Greta Th uh, Thunberg yesterday, her comments were it's all blah, 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 just to make world leaders look good. Call me a conference every couple of years. Say what they're going to say and then go away. Four or five years later, we're in the exact same position. Nothing has changed. They go to another conference and say the exact same nonsense again, right? At the end of the day, we're the ones that will make a difference. Climate justice and social justice, no one's is left behind. That's how it should work here. There's two big marches. There's the youth strike on the Friday and then the bigger climate march on the Saturday. So I would just encourage people to get out in whatever blocks most of You're going to have tenant unions, you're going to have community groups, you're going to have uh, trade unions, and you're going to have everybody in between out marching for justice. So the mood in the city at the moment, I would say, is really vibrant. We stand in solidarity with these workers. It would be great to get a huge turnout on Saturday to support that. We're standing together. He's saying the Scottish Government and Council and Glasgow City Council. Get back on the table with the trade unions. It pays workers a decent pay rise. Yeah. Yeah.